Hello everybody, so as I said before my other videos, I have, well, I'll be getting a vacuum cleaner for Christmas, and I got it. Here it is. It's a Prolux 9000 HEPA sealed bagged up by vacuum cleaner. Um, now I was just, I was already starting to make the video, I was unwinding the cord and plugging it in, and then I realized... Something was wet over there. I don't know what it was, but it smells like water. And then one of my uncles called, so that cut the video. So, um, and I don't know how to edit, but make it another video. So the reason I don't know how to edit is because I use a phone. <laughs> anyway, so in front we have Prolux logo with 12 amps. Um, headlights on each side, which are LED. Um, underneath we have a metal brush roll. The reason why it's slipping so fast is because it's a, when you put it up in that right position, the brush roll shuts off because you can shut off the brush roll on this model. Um, oh, yeah, then you can do these clips right here, and you can take off the whole base plate for the belt and brush. Well, I don't want to do it right now because you have to lift up this rubber seal to get at it, which is dumb. But anyways, this is the on-off switch for the brush. Right now it's on carpet, so it'll be on. And then floor, you hear that click, it'll turn off the brush, and then back to carpet, another click. So down here you have a HEPA filter, a white HEPA filter, so you undo that clip right there, and then it comes right off. 9,000 HEPA sealed, and then you take this gray button right here, push it down, there's your bag. Now we have a carpet upstairs that, um, keeps shutting. We've been having it for a month or two and it's still shutting. We've been using a Dyson DC-25 on it, but as you see, that's mostly carpet fiber right there. The bag is already already full, which is ridiculous. But anyways, down here you have another type of filter that you slide out for the motor right here. Make sure this darn bag doesn't get in the way. Come on. Anyways, so, yeah, and then behind this, it doesn't surprise me, but there's dust from that bag, which doesn't surprise me, and it irritates me, too, since it's, oh, it's a half a sealed vacuum cleaner. Like, wow. Anyways, moving on, you have your carry handle right here, which is kind of heavy, the vacuum. Um, I do have a problem with it. I'll show you that in a second or a few minutes. Anyway, so right back here you have your tools, your upholstery tool, um, your crevice tool, your dusting brush <clears throat> right here. Um, we have a turbo brush with this model, as you can see doors right there on the side then you have a wand back here it doesn't extend but one over here and the metal one I don't know if you saw it or not it does okay will this thing click in there my lord anyways so yeah here's the metal wand um this is where the problem is when I received it yesterday in the white box, the white box is kind of beat up. It was in a brown box too, but... <sighs> Look at that. That's a big dent. That's nice. But anyways, that was the only problem. So we're in contact. I'm going to contact the company tomorrow and tell them we need a new wand. Um, I you see that black button that makes the wand extend. Um... And you have your stretch hose right here. On off switches up there. As you can see. Uh, this is where you release it. There you go. Um, what else? Oh yeah, here's the cord. The cord is fairly long. Sorry about the talking, but anyways. Yeah, I guess I'll demonstrate it for you guys. If I can get a good angle. I've never done this here. And 
this house before? I can't even tell. Oh, come on. You know what? Forget it. I'm just going to hold the camera or the phone while I do this. Uh, anyways, here I go. Oh, yeah, it has a bag check indicator, too. Right up there, right there, lit up red. And there's the bag's full slow. Yeah, here we go. Sorry about the shaking, but this rug is kind of hard to push a vacuum on. But anyways, you know, there's a video of my secret vacuum that I, that I told you guys about, my Prolux 9000 HEPA seal vacuum. Um, actually, before I go, I don't know if anyone saw it, but this Dyson DC40, I found out what the problem is. The exhaust filter is making that noise. So I tripped... Pulled it out without it on and didn't squeal, so it's the filter on there that needs to be replaced. So, yeah, some people were right about that. Anyways, back to this. So, I hope everyone enjoyed this video of my Prolux 9000 HEPA seal vacuum. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on my post notifications. Stay tuned for more videos from me and have a great day, everybody. Bye.